Oh, yes. We are going international. Aussie style. In the form of the Australian first edition. Here it goes. Look at that set. There he is! Eddie Maguire! No, no, no relation to Harry Maguire whatsoever. And look, clapping for himself! Jesus Christ. DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in the Eddie Maguire. And compete against no relation to Harry Maguire whatsoever. First to reach the magical million dollar mark. All you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right button and then enter to lock in your answer. It couldn't be any simpler. Right. If you're ready, let's, let's play. play. Jesus, look at those chairs for God's sake. Look how cheap they are. Post Let's office chairs. I'm sure you're familiar Look at with it. By now. You are 15 correct answers away right. from winning a virtual million dollars. As always, you can walk away at any time, and if you get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50, you can phone a friend, or of course, you can ask the audience. Okay, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Million I've only been to, to Australia once for about a week. Jesus Christ, watch me fail at the first question. Here goes. Right, you have 15 questions and three lifelines. The very best. If there's any Australian Let's questions, try. I'm pummeled. Absolute, I'm going to be pummeled on. Okay, for $100, here's question. Question number one. Number one. The game where one player leaps over another in a stooping position is Leap Frog. Yeah, I had to read the question. Easy. That's it's too long. Answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 points. Aussie bucks. Off the hook. Excellent. It's the right Ripped it word from word from Chris. How lazy are the Aussies? Sorry to any Australians watching. It's worth three hundred dollars. Ripped it word from word. Dame Joan Sutherland gained international fame in which occupation? <laughs> Rapper. Really? Dame Joan Sutherland. Jesus. Has to be opera singer. Has to be opera singer. Has to be opera singer. Jesus, A again! Easy. That's the right answer. A again, my god. Remember a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. Christ, right. Question number four. Which Prime Minister? Was also depicted as a bulldog. Now, now, in the quizzing world, if a question is there and Winston Churchill is one of the answers, you go for that. So. And the theory is still 100% intact. That's the right answer. Thankfully. Get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least $1,000. Good luck. Here comes question, question number five. Question number five. Which famous film... Well, it ain't the two Roddies. Have to be Laurel and Hardy. 
The Battle of the Century in 1972. Laurel and Hardy, sod it. A again! Very good, no oh my god! A again! Really? Really, game? You've reached the first milestone, that's $1,000. Have a look at question six. It could double your money to $2,000. Right, two grand question. On July 29th, 2003, the last original bug model of which VW car was rolled out in Mexico City? Golf, Beetle, Polo, Passat. VW bug. Oof. It's between two. I was expecting Volkswagen to come up. Ask the audience. Is it's between golf or polo? I'm not too sure. Okay, you'd like to ask the audience. Audience, have a look at the options. Ready? Okay. Vote now. Oh, look at that audience. Some old bags there. Some of them are like the Queen. Dead. Um, 82% say, what was 82? Beetle. Okay. Yes. Two grand. Yes, that's the right answer. And the Aussie family pick tradition will come, will be coming very, very soon again. At the earliest next month. At the earliest. Which edible delicacy is a fungus found in the ground? No. Muffin, truffle, meringue, fudge. Muffin is baked. Meringue is made from egg whites. Fudge from sugar has to be. It has to be truffles. It has to be. There you go. Of course it is. That's there you the go. Right Piece of piss. Okay, if you choose the right answer to the next The only Australian question I've got was about Dame Jen Sutherland. $8, Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. What is the name of the official transcript of the UK? Wasn't this a question in the first Hanson, edition? Hanson, Hewson. I swear. This was a question in the first edition DVD. Here. It's Hans Ard. Yeah. Wonderful. Just ripping Wonderful. questions from our edition. For God's sake. So rip the script from Chris and now some of the questions. Great. Which British Prime Minister had the American mother... It's Churchill again. Macmillan. Major Churchill Eden. Yeah. Oh. Again. Two. Okay. It. Oh, Jesus. It cannot be possible when on one game, two questions about Churchill, and what's more, two questions. Two questions about Churchill, and Churchill is the right answer. Not Major. Uh. Uh. Eden, uh uh. Macmillan or Churchill? It can't, it can't be, it can't be. Jenny Jerome Macmillan? Jenny Jerome Major? No. Jenny Jerome Churchill? Possibly. Jenny Jerome Eden? Right, 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 right. Um, Jack Solly will be screaming the answer. Sod it, Churchill. Fucking hell again! 
Wonderful. Okay. It's the right answer. Okay. Oh, please. Please. If we get up to question okay. 15, please, please let, please let, there, please let there be the question, what is the special term for a male lobster? That will make the, ah, oh, please. Who was made an officer of the Order of Australia in 2003's See? See? An Australian question. Shane Warne, Steve War, Alan Border. Shane Warne, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Shane Warne. Oh god. Um um Oh Jesus. Fifty fifty. Okay, let's try and make things a little easier for you. Computer, please take away two random wrong Go on. answers. Do your thing. Oh, so it's not Shane Warne then. Officer of the Officer of the Order of Australia. I'm not from Australia. I don't know. It's either I'm gonna have to use two lifelines on one question, or risk fifteen grand and go for a random answer. Oh god. Jesus. Um, 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 sod it, pick one and go with it. Steve Wall. Oh, okay, what a guess that was. No problems there, that's the right answer. What a guess that was. Question number 11 is worth $64,000. You would still walk away with 32,000 even if you get it wrong. Let's hope you don't. Question number 11. What instrument did jazz musician Wes Montgomery play? Piano, saxophone, guitar, drums. Sod it. Phone a friend. Okay, let's phone a friend. Who do you think might be able to help you choose the right answer? Let's hear how Aussie the phone of friends are. Olivia, she's probably dead. Emily or Joshua? Emily. Mm. Look, I'm not sure I can help you here. I mean, out of those, I'd probably pick C. C. Oh gosh, it really Listen, some of the fun friends in this game are absolute <laughs> shit, so thank you for giving me an answer in the first place. Most of them will say, Oh, I don't know, goodbye. See. Well done, woman. Well right done, answer. lass. She got it right. The next question is worth a whopping one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Number twelve or fifteen. Take your time. It's a lot of money. After the USSR's breakup, Paul Volta, Sergei Bubka represented which country at the Olympics? Ukraine, Belarus, Russia, Latvia. <laughs> 
After the USSR's breakup, Pole Volta, Sergei but, but, um It's up to you. Remember, you don't have to play. But I'm not wimping out on the me on the Mi C64 Grand. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. I actually don't have a fecking clue. Well, it ain't Russia. Belarus, probably. Latvia, uh uh. Not walking away on the music 64 grand. No way. No way. Ukraine, sod it. Mmm! Mmm! It's the right answer. 125 grand! Oh, please, please. Right, question number 15, please let it be, what's the special term for a male lobster? Please! Please! And you're wrong, you will drop back to $32,000. Here's the question for a quarter of a million For a quarter of a million, man! What is Russell Crowe's middle name? Irving, Ian, Ira, really? Isaac. Really? For a quarter of a million, what is Russell Crowe's middle name? Number one, I don't have a clue. Russell Irving Crow. Russell Ian Crow. Russell Ira Crow. Or Russell Isaac Crow. What is the most bizarre? Out of all of those. Russell Isaac Crow, Russell Ira Crow, Russell Irving Crow, Russell Ian Crow. Irving, Ian, Ira, Isaac. Oh god. What is the most bizarre name? Just for originality. This is no thinking behind my answer on a quarter of a million question. For no simple logic, and maybe because it's the most bizarre out of all of them, pick the most bizarre. Ira. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. This is getting very, very serious. You are only two correct answers away from winning one million dollars. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose two hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. Have a look at question number fourteen and think very carefully about what you want. Come to on, do. half a million question. Who was made an officer of the Order of Australia in two thousand and three's birthday what? honors list? So Gary Sobers. Sir Vivian Richards, Sir Evan now, Lewis, Sir Conrad Hunt. Okay, so two, so the same question, but without the Queen, and different answers. Well, Jesus Christ. Oh, the birthday on this list. 
So, so same subject at least. Heard of Sir Viv Richards? Yeah, I've only heard of Sir Viv Richards. Do you see why? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it doesn't mean I've heard of the person, it doesn't mean it's going to be right. That one. <laughs> okay. <Wonderful. laughs> okay. That's the right answer. Okay then, 21 minutes in and we're on to the million dollar question. Oh please, oh please, please, let it be what is the special term for a male lobster, please, please, oh please, come on. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god. We got it. We bloody... <laughs> we got it. But it's childish. It's childish. But... Oh. My. God. And you know what's the answer? <laughs> it's cock. <laughs> the right answer is cock. Oh yes! You could have oh, that is the best question dollars. ever. Instead, that is the best question ever. I love it. The first thing that comes out of his mouth is. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes out of his mouth. What a tremendous game! All fifteen questions answered correctly. The first, well the first thing that comes out of his mouth. I love it. This is not a valid check. Oh, you don't say. You don't say! Oh, that has made that video. Oh my god. The first thing that comes out of his mouth. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes out of his mouth! <laughs> That's the first thing that comes out of his mouth! <laughs> oh! My God. Right, thank you for watching the Australian first edition. I promise we'll get to the family picture edition Australian uh, next month at the earliest, if I'm free. Right, thank you for watching. <laughs> that has made this video. I will see you all next time. Bye.